Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Uh, last time we just entered the deep roads and Sandal has gone missing. And besides that, we need to explore this side passage, so. Alright, nothing to talk to here. Ah, uh, the deep roads. No clickables. Alright, I imagine this is the side passage. <laughs> Would you look at that? Alright, one moment. This it's on hard. Huh. Oh, wait. I hope this isn't, uh... I hope they didn't make these main story quests so that it would be easy to just jump right into without doing any side quests. And is he really grabbing the blade on that thing? Anyway. Alright, I need to give Aveline some more uh, willpower. She's really low on stamina. Let's see, what constant effects does she have up? Yeah, just defensive, uh, defensive deals that drain uh, so much of her stamina. Or, I'm sorry, block off that much. Reserve. Let's see if I can get one of those archers. Oh, crap. I'm sure it'll catch up fast. I mean, the difficulty will catch up to that. us. I'm really not sure how chests work. Easy. Oh, he can open it. See, before he could not open those chests. Huh, that might actually be better than Hater's Razor. Let me check that out. No, I guess uh, Rogue's lockpicking skills go up with their level. Alright, Oathbreaker. Yeah, it's better, but... He needs more strength. Holy crap, what was that? Alright, what the heck? I mean, seriously. Darkspawn Emissary? I hate these guys. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, that was, that took me off, uh,
What combat abilities does she have? Pummel Strike. That really took me uh, out of surprise. I mean, those emissaries are obviously. I don't know why they uh, up the difficulty like that for one enemy. Okay, he's not here now, so apparently he ran in halfway through the fight. I'm going to save Winter's Grasp for the Emissary when it comes out. Okay, there's the Emissary. Hopefully that diverted just a bit of it. Okay, it's already popped up back here. Try to do that massive attack thing, so I'm going to grab Carver and try to move him out of the way. Just in case it uh, uses some AoE. Well, that was day and night difference from last time. Okay, what is dedicated? Who cares? Probably 10th level or something. Yeah, 10th level. Magic and willpower, as always. Let's enforce mage. Fist of the Maker. The mage slams enemies into the ground with incredible power against which no armor is. Or against which armor is no protection. Alright, sounds pretty cool. What are the buffs? Oh, it uh, takes away the cooldown and it adds a stagger. Pretty cool. Constitution for her, though. I actually want to put one in willpower. No, I'm going to put it back in uh, strength. Just because uh, gear is heavily dependent on your strength and constitution stats for what you can wear. I don't want to have some good piece of armor that I can't put on her. What's in the Aveline tree? That's just another uh, stamina usage ability. Alright, that sounds good. An increase to the defensive, uh. Little constant effect defensive buff she has. Ha! Yeah, I think that's actually better than mine. Nah, this one is. Alright, which way do we go from here? We can run up this way. Might as well. This is the direction back to that main path. Wow, that's cool. I like that.
and that has a relatively uh, short cooldown. Yeah, that is nice. That is really nice. It takes them all out of commission like that. I can imagine how that would be a lifesaver. Okay, let's see if we can get you 30 strength, and we can. And do I put it in constitution or willpower? I'm going to go with constitution. I wonder why Carver doesn't have a tree of his own. Let's see. I already looked through that. There's nothing really uh, good in there. What do I have here? Pummel strike. Okay, that's a AoE knockback. But I don't want any more abilities that use up his stamina. He eats through that stuff like crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, he's using pummel strike. Might as well get the buff for it. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching.